Today's video is about how many servings of vegetables, and we're going to cover fruit you should have per day with kidney disease. Thanks for tuning in. This is my channel, Healthy Kidney Inc., where we talk about things that you can do within your power to help your kidney health. I'm Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, and living with a kidney transplant for a long time. So make sure to subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. So today we're talking about vegetables and fruits and how many servings per day. So a little study that came out, a uh, lower frequency of vegetable and fruit intake linked to higher risk of death regardless of chronic kidney disease. This was out of Japan, published in the Journal of Renal Nutrition, 2023, just recently. Yep. Uh, Journal of Renal Nutrition, 2023. And so what they looked at people with kidney disease and without. People that had the kidney disease weren't eating enough vegetables. And in response, they had a higher risk of death. Because when you don't eat your, your greens, you don't eat vegetables, you don't eat fruits, you don't get all those great minerals, antioxidants, fibers that do so many good things for the kidney. Now, you have kidney disease. How much should you have a day? Now, the recommendations vary depending on what organization you look at. There is no official recommendation that I know of from any kidney organization that still tells you how many fruits and vegetables per day you should have. Uh, we look at other organizations, for example, the uh, the government uses my plate, where they just say, make half your plate, whatever you're eating, make half your plate fruits and vegetables. That's a good guideline, something you don't have to measure, you just gotta measure just half your plate, you don't gotta use cups. The American Heart Association says four to five servings of vegetables per day and four to five servings of fruit. And then if you look at other sources, uh, it will vary, but they're all in that same area. So with kidney disease, okay, I'm going to recommend that you look to get about five servings of vegetables per day and five servings of fruit. So that's 10 servings total. You can go higher. You can always go higher. Higher is generally better. If you're not used to adding in vegetables, gradually increase. So what's a serving size? Serving size does vary also depending on what source. Generally, what you see is that for vegetables, a serving size cooks. So if you cook your vegetables, it'll be anywhere to a half cup to one cup. Raw vegetables at one serving will be one to two cups, depending what you use. So uh, I would recommend stay within those areas. If you're new to eating fruits and vegetables, go for those lower amounts, okay? So get five servings of half cup to cooked vegetables, or you break that up among your cooked and raw, but you want to get as much as possible. If you're not doing fruit or don't like fruit, then you try to get more vegetables to replace those five servings of fruit. But that's what you should strive for every day. 10 servings total, at least five servings of vegetable, at least five servings of fruit. And you know what they cited in this research and what we know now more than ever about kidney disease is you don't have to worry about the potassium content as much in foods unless you're at risk or you have high potassium. So strive for those servings of fruits and vegetables in your kidney diet. They're gonna help you tremendously because you get fiber, which helps, uh, really helps your kidney health. You get prebiotics, you get a variety of vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, polyphenols, all this great stuff for your kidney health. So thanks for watching everybody. Make sure to check out our other videos. Bye.